a lot has changed since I've been gone, but I can't attack everything. So I'll touch on the things that have made my head spin, that have turned my face up and made me go, ooh, uh-uh. Starting with Empire, all the dope music we've been given, the loss of the countless black lives, and our girl Monet Davis. What's up everybody? Long time no see. Welcome back to this week's Let Leslie Tell It. We've been blessed with one of the corniest shows of all time. Yes, I know, it's Empire. Oh, don't be upset. I know that all of you are gonna be mad that I called your new favorite soap opera a pile of lame, but honestly, Leslie is here only to tell you the truth. But I returned every week to see the train wreck happen. But throughout the season, there were so many times when I wanted to chuck my universal remote through every inch of my TV. And honestly, I just have a whole bunch of questions. And most of them end and begin with, why do we act like Jamal is the new Luther Vandross? Mm. And in between that lie, what the hell is wrong with Lucius? And why is his name Lucius? Then Malik Yoba, he got axed off the show because he accidentally outed Jesse Smollett. Well, don't be surprised if y'all see a GoFundMe for his ashy lips soon since he can't stop bumping them gums. But the best thing about this show really is Cookie. Cookie and her furs. I love it. It's so good to see Taraji put her DC hood girl roots to use. Get it girl, Team Cookie Monster. And speaking of music, the first quarter has been amazing. We got new Drake, Big Sean, and Kendrick. Ugh. And y'all know that new Drake. Of course it was full of woe is me hymns, but I loved every little soft part of it. You know, he is hella successful about making broke people feel like they can really understand his rich boy pain because we all need to call our mamas more. Good job, light skin. And then there's Big Sean. Okay, for real, I never cared about anything he rapped about before. But suddenly he got rid of I'm Not Black Naya and picked up some rap skills along the way. Check you out, Sean, with the bangers. But really, this is all about my boy K-Dot, Mr. West Coast Till I Die. Oh, I am so proud of Kendrick for coming out and being honest, being vulnerable, and really showing the world that mainstream hip hop is not just bands and bitches. And black people do feel black. Black ass black. Blackity black. I'm black. He's black. Y'all overwhelmed yet? And while we're on black folks, so sadly, since June, we've had to watch people lose their lives over and over again at the hands of police. The insanity that the families of Mike Brown, Tamar Rice, Tony Robinson, and more have had to go through has pissed me clean off. But when I really thought that I had stomached all I could, the news of Mr. Otis Burr being lynched in Mississippi sent me over to deep end. Yes, yes I did check my Google Calendar to make sure that it said 2015. And sure enough, my eyes had not deceived me. So all that tells me is that there is still more work to be done. What should we do? I don't know. But I know that we have to get off of the back of the bus, riding on the fights and the triumphs of old. We, myself included, all need to do more. Fortunately though, we have little girls like Monet Davis. You know, the little precious baby out here throwing the ball for her baseball team. She's turning the world around on its axis with her greatness. But you know that means that there has to be some haters in the midst. And hers come in the form of young college boys who are mad Disney is making a movie about her. Really? What 19 year old person is mad that Disney is making a new movie? Come on boo, find something better to do. Nonetheless, he took to Twitter calling her a slut. Okay, but Monet took the high road. She wrote a letter to his baseball team asking his coach that he be reinstated after he had been kicked off because of his foul mouth. Let's just say she's better than me because I am petty boo. But she, mm -mm, no, she didn't do that. I would have let him sit at home waiting on my movie to premiere. In fact, I would have invited him to the premiere and wrote on his invite, hey slut, wanna come? Whatever, I'll be better. God's not through with me yet. Nonetheless, get it Monet, we're so proud of you. That's all I have for you guys this week. Don't forget to come back next week for even more and follow me everywhere on the World Wide Web as Uncle Charles Barkley would say at Hot Mama. Until then, peace.